So my name is Lee Newton and I'm the Chief Operating Officer of Cordon Pharma Group. Thank you. So how does the new private equity investors Astog's acquisition affect Cordon Pharma? So since the uh, the acquisition went through last August, uh, we've been working with Astorg to develop our strategy. They uh, bought us to, to, to grow the business, to, to provide us capital to do that. Um, they are very supportive of our of con- continuation of our, of our strategy. And uh, the most obvious uh, change that we've just announced is around our branding. Um, so the as you can see behind me here, we have the, the new Cordon Pharma logo, which is uh, using our our uh, initials to, to represent the, the partner uh, mentality that we bring to our customer relationships um, and the complex modalities that we uh, deal in. Thank you. What is Cordon Farmer's strategy? So we, we want to be a leading partner um, and offer our customers an integrated service through uh, intermediate drug su- substance and drug product. Um, we last year, acquired three sites from V4 Pharma in drug products to broaden the range of dosage forms that we can manufacture. And we're gonna continue to um, flesh out our network with further acquisitions if we can find good value assets, but also we're investing heavily in organic growth um, to provide our, on our existing sites, a wider range of technologies and, and capacity. Thank you. So Lee, what exactly are you investing in? So I would say that the investments fall generally into three categories. Uh, firstly, we have increased capabilities. So offering services that we couldn't offer in the past, uh, many in very high technology areas, high growth areas. Some good examples would be uh, manufacturing of synthetic oligonucleotides, where we're making a major investment in, in our uh, Boulder, Colorado site. Uh, we also have uh, lipid nanoparticle production being um, built in our Capanago, Italy site. That's uh, quite close to completion. We should be able to offer customer services in that area um, this year for GMP. We also are investing heavily in further uh, uh, chromatography, including supercritical fluid chromatography, which we think is an important technique in the future uh, because it's much greener than existing techniques. Uh, The second category would simply be capacity. More, more of our customers are trusting us with their new launches, new chemical entities, their growth products. This means that uh, our existing capacities are quite full and we're continuously adding um, capacities. So where we had three lines, now we have four lines or five lines. Uh, and then the third uh, and also very important category is around our uh, ESG investments. So investments in reduction of carbon footprint, reduction of emissions, efficiency, And this is also very important to Astorg, um, who get a lot of their investment from the kind of uh, funds that make high requirements on on sustainability. Uh, We also signed up in December to the Science-Based Targets Initiative together with Astorg, um, uh, and we'll be publishing uh, ambitious targets for, for that next year. So 2022 was a turbulent year for supply chains. What would you say are the major trends in 2023? Yeah, so I mean, with our network of sites in, in Europe and the US, um, we were let a little bit, you know, we were exposed to energy insecurity in Europe um, for some time. Um, we are less exposed to some other geopolitical trends. Um, however, I think our sites cope very admirably. Uh, there were no real uh, breaks in service. We were able to qualify additional suppliers to uh, think on our feet, be agile and, and keep supply for our customers. Um, 2023, we see uh, a continuation of some of those trends. Um, uh, The energy crisis, I guess, is softening, but it's not gone away. Uh, Supply chains are becoming more resilient, but we just need to work with our customers to uh, manage those those challenges. Uh, And our customers have generally been very supportive of the strategies that we need to to implement to do that. the other main uh, trend I see in 2023 is, is is a continuous increase in the complexity of what we're being asked to do, which is favoring uh, companies like Cordon that have a lot of high technology um, and uh, great development organizations that are able to bring uh, innovative solutions to those, those problems. Lee, it was a pleasure speaking with you today. Thank you very much.